In this video, we are going to learn how to use the metric method to solve simultaneous linear equations. Example 1. Write the following simultaneous linear equations in the form of metric. Hence, solve by using the metric method. First, we need to write the metric equation. The first bracket, only numbers. Second bracket, the variable P followed by Q. So P, Q. Equals 13, negative 18. Next step, you need to move this metric to right hand side. So when we move the metric negative 2, 3, 3, negative 4, it will become inverse metric. So we write PQ at the front equals the inverse metric of negative 2, 3, 3, negative 4 is 1 over negative 2 times negative 4 minus 3 times 3. And don't forget, move negative 4 to above here and negative 2 go down and this number positive become negative positive become negative and 13 negative 18 Now we count the determinant. Determinant equals negative 1. At the same time, we calculate the multiplication of these two matrices. Okay, first, we draw four brackets. At the middle, we put plus. Second row, also same thing, four brackets. At the middle, put plus. So how to multiply here? Multiply row by column. First number, multiply with the first number. Negative 4 times 13 plus second number times second number, which is negative 3 times negative 18. For the second row, also we do the same thing. Negative 3 times 13. Negative 2 times negative 18. So equals by using calculator, you key in negative 4 times 13 plus negative 3 times negative 18. You will obtain 2, second row, negative 3 times 13 plus negative 2 times negative 18 equals negative 3. One over negative one actually equals negative one. So the answer is negative one times two, negative two, negative one times negative three is three. The value of P equals negative two. The value of Q equals three. Example 2, this is KEPA question from SPM 
year 2019. A furniture factory distributes plastic chairs and wooden chairs to supplier A and supplier B. Supplier A received four containers of plastic chairs and three containers of wooden chairs with total of 219 chairs. Supplier B received five containers of plastic chairs and seven containers of wooden chairs with total of 460 chairs. Using metric method, find the number of plastic chairs and the number of wooden chairs in each container. To answer this type of question, normally we will list out. We have two items, right? Plastic chair and wooden chair. Okay, supplier A received four container of plastic chair and three containers of wooden chairs. So the total you write here, the total is 290 chairs. Whereas supplier B received five container of plastic chairs and seven containers of wooden chairs with total of 460 chairs. By using this method, you can form the linear equation easily. Okay. Now, we don't know the number of plastic chairs in one container, so we represent it as S. We also don't know the number of wooden chairs in a container, so we represent it as Y. So the first equation we can form is 4S plus 3Y equals 290. The second equation is 5S plus 7Y equals 460. After we form two linear equations, now we solve this simultaneous equation by using metric method. Okay, first we write it in equation form 4, 3, 5, 7 times as y equals 290 and 460 and we need to move this metric to the right hand side and it will become inverse metric so now only sy at the front one over four times seven minus three times five the number with arrow you change the place seven go up and four go down the number without arrow then you put the negative at the front so here positive 3 becomes negative 3 and positive 5 becomes negative 5 and don't forget copy down 290 460 okay so key into calculator, find the determinant, 
4 times 7 minus 3 times 5 equals 30. And of course, these two matrices, you do the multiplication and don't forget, write four brackets here. Still remember how to fill in the number? Row times the column. So first number is 7 times 290 plus negative 3 times 460. Okay, for second row, negative 5 times 290 plus 4 times 460. So 1 over 13. So you calculate 7 times 290 plus negative 3 times 460 equals 650. Negative 5 times 290 plus 4 times 460 equals 390. So now you multiply the fraction into the matrix. 1 over, 1 over 13 times 650 equals 50. 1 over 13 multiplying 390 equals 30. So, don't forget, take out the value of S and Y. So, S equals 50 and y equals 30. The number of plastic chair in a container is 50. And the number of wooden chair in container is 30. That's all for today. See you next time. Thank you.